Hi, welcome to my channel. Like and subscribe. All YouTube phrases that you do and you say, tell your mum, tell your dad, tell your brother's uncle. And there you have it. Welcome to my doings. Today what I'm doing, if you don't know what I'm doing, what I'm doing is I'm going to recreate this. I found on eBay a Barbie car, which is the same one. Here it is. I've already started stripping it to make it more screen accurate. The wheels were wrong. I've taken those off. I've taken the old stickers off. That was pretty hard. Did it with some lighter fluid. It's left a couple of marks there, but um, what are you gonna do? Call cancel on me. Now it's time to make gizmo that's gonna go inside the car. Only half a body, no legs, because you don't see the legs. Um, in this formation, with the tongue out. <laughs> He's going in the oven for 15 minutes at 135 degrees. Once it's baked and you've taken it out of the oven and it's cooled down, it's a paint job using acrylics. And then for the shiny bits such as the fingernails and the, and the tongue and the wet nose, I use Delta Creative Varnish. After that, it's time to stick the fur on. I get the fur from Amazon and uh, I don't really use a pattern. I just uh, cut it to shape as I'm gluing it on. And I use a scalpel to cut the fur rather than scissors. If you use scissors, you just cut, end up cutting the fur and trimming it down. So I cut it from behind using a scalpel. To glue it on, I use a hot glue gun, which sometimes burns your skin and you let out an F. This is a bit weird. What I do then is I trim down the fur using a razor until it's the right length because often it's too long for a mogwai. There he is. So I only built half of him because he's going to go in the car so we don't need to see rest. It's supposed to be this dude with his tongue out. A friend of mine on Instagram, I say a friend, but I've never met him in my life. I just chat to him about Mogwise and how to make them. His name is Brian Best and he's got a, an account called um, Peltzer, Peltzer, Peltzer Pets. Hooked me up with these stickers, which I printed out onto sticky paper. Uh, sticker paper, you just get it on Amazon and make stickers. Um, and now I'm going to put these on here. a sushi carton is it a carton packaging from some sushi ad from asda um i've made the little windscreen there stickers are on gizmo with tongue out is done ears are made by peltzer pets and painted by me everything else made by me eyes bought from ebay you know sitting there like so just need a steering wheel uh, and the bottom as a wheel. So it's now a few days later. I'm all finished, but let me tell you the process. I bought this remote control car because the remote control car that they used in the film was a Tamiya Ford something. I can't remember. And they plonked the Barbie car on top of there. These wheels looked very similar. I thought I'd be able to take these wheels off and put the wheels on that I bought that were the exact wheels and tyres. But I can't get them on. So... I moved that aside. I bought this remote control car from Smith's for 39 quid. I took the bottom off, I took the wheels off. This isn't a very good one. And this is where I am. Finished gizmo in Barbie, Dream Vet, I think it was called. For the suitcases on the back, I bought some Cindy suitcases from eBay and painted them the right colour. And these are the wheels, the exact wheels that they used in the film. For some reason, I can't get it to go. Um, I'll just, wheels are going round, uh, they're not on very secure, it's quite a delicate thing, because they won't screw on properly, but as you can see, no, he just vibrates, he just vibrates, 
I expect it's because the wheels don't fit properly, but there he is. He's just the model, which I'll put on a shelf and open him it. Have you seen that? There's Gizmo in his Barbie car that vibrates with his tongue out. And um, do you want a beer? If you've got any advice on how to make him go, if you know anything about remote control cars, um, drop us a comment and say, what you need to do, Keith, is wish really hard. Anyway, there's Gizmo in the Barbie dream vet that you saw in the films Gremlins, where his eyes looked a bit weird and different, and he's got his tongue out, and he can also <laughs> vibrate. What I did do whilst I was trying to track down the bottom of the car that they used in the film, but couldn't find it, was make another gizmo. This is the one where he fell off the desk and Billy put a bandage on his head and he looks really peeved and vexed to the max. Um, it's got wire in it so you can move him and stuff. And again, I'll just put him on a shelf and I'll go, see, now I made gizmo. <laughs> So this is what happened to me during lockdown. I started making things I've made way too much now. If you want to see me making some of these things, like and subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll see me making them. Look, there he is, Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. Made enough Mogwais now, gonna <laughs> do some else soon. <laughs> I was Keith Lemon, like and subscribe. For those of you for a week, I'll see you for a window. Good luck with your business.